I'm Stu from the Seabo shop at Manchester Vax and here we've got the brand new BP60 cordless and we're going to show you an unboxing video which is the first unboxing video we've done so we'll see how that goes so nice compact little box well packed and let's have a look inside so here's a first look inside Nice green packaging, got loads of polystyrene. That'll be the battery. Main unit. And the soft case. Nicely put together, little box. So here we are, let's see what's in the box. The heaviest bit. It's the base unit here. screws we have a humongous battery and we have the soft case itself we have a bag of course instruction books that's the charger and we have the handle now let's see if we can put it together Let's have a closer look at these bits out of the box. So that's the charger, the handle obviously, assembly screws, the soft case itself, the battery, and there's something else you get with this. What Clarkson would call the smallest screwdriver in the world. And that's to help you with the assembly, as you'll see in a moment. So the trickiest bit of the assembly is to get this bag onto here and get a, a screw. There's a single screw that locates on the inside, one of the larger ones in your bag. And I'm going to explain first, I'm going to show you first where it needs to go. Because you're going to find this very fiddly otherwise. So if you look inside here, this screw is going to go into that hole there and it's going to screw up it's going to go through this hole in this tab here and that's what your tiny screwdrivers for so you can get your hand in so first things first when you're fitting you have to fit this on here you need to zip the zips up a little bit just a little on each side and all the way around like the bottom of the zip must sit inside the casing this is really the worst part of the assembly but it's one of those jobs that you only have to do once get the whole assembly sat like that as best you can now Here's where the fiddly bit comes in. If we take a look inside the case, again, what you're gonna to have to do simultaneously is hold the top here and push it down. Because what we need to do is get that screw located through that hole. And the easiest way I think of doing that is take a small screwdriver or some similar little pilot thing. And while you're pushing down, Fish about with it like that till you've got it in the hole and then you know that that hole is lined up both sides. You need three arms to do this possibly. And then if you can get that screw just start it off like that slightly in then you use your smallest screwdriver in the world and just tighten it up. And soon it'll be in. So there's the screw in place tightened up. That really is the fiddliest part of the whole endeavour that you're going to encounter. And if you struggle with that, there is some quite comprehensive instructions in the manual as well. But now we've got the screw in, let's carry on. 
So now we've got the handle to fit and you've got two screws the same size as the ones you've just put in the body. So handle in through the top. These screws are much easier than the previous, previous screw, I can assure you. You can see that those holes line up easily and visibly. And again, just those two Phillipses straight through. If you haven't got a Phillips handy, you can also use the smallest screwdriver in the world again. Should only take you a moment. Now we're not far away, so all we need to do now is pop the bag in. Which is locate the two tabs there. And it clips in nice and Germanically. Zip it up. And now we're going to move on to the battery. And this is actually an element that you probably should do at the very beginning. Because it's very important that you charge the battery completely before you start using the machine. Of course, you're excited about having something new and you want to use it as soon as you can, but you really do need to charge this battery for at least four hours first. Because the type of battery this is, the first charge sets the life of the battery, sets the memory of the battery, really. So if you give it a little bit of a charge and then start using it, you are going to shorten the life of the battery. And these are several hundred pounds each. You do not want to damage this battery. So we're going to charge it first. You open this little flap here and you can see the socket. And, we, and you've already, all you need to do, pop your charger. Pop your charger into that wee socket. Like that, with the flat bit of the plug at the top. Plug it in the wall, charge it for four hours. Four hours. And when you've done it, when you've charged your battery, it just slips in like this. And you're ready to go. I know I've just said it, but I can't say it often enough. Make sure this battery is fully, fully charged before you use it. So the machine, the charger here is blinking green while it's charging. You can see that the battery's got one light on. It's gonna go two, it's gonna go three. And then this green light here is gonna stay solid when it's ready to go. And now, or rather when it's charged, it's time to test it. And that means me. Let's try it. Watching, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye bye.